Now, the UN says more than 10 million people have been forced out of Ukraine or forced to re relocate inside the country since that invasion. 25 News reporter Liam McNeil takes us to Harker Heights, where two women are working to comfort the smallest Ukrainians. Laura and Diane right here behind me are a part of a huge army of sewers and quilters from all across the globe who are working together to make quilts for kids in Ukraine. And I see the rubble and I remember seeing those buildings before they were rubble. Among the ruins and a sea of faces are the youngest Ukrainians. Most of these children only have the clothes on their backs and what they could put in a little backpack. Their sense of peace gone. Makes me cry. It makes me cry. But on the other side of the world in Harker Heights, Texas, every piece, every stitch is a prayer for peace. It breaks my heart, but it also helps my heart to know that somebody is, show, a total stranger is saying, I care. Laura Winkle has been a quilter for decades, connecting her craft with Claudia File, a quilter in Germany, making blankets for Ukrainian refugees. We call it Claudia's army of volunteers. A spontaneous call on Facebook and, <laughs> and I started a tsunami, a blue yellow tsunami. Everyone a possibility to, you know, to do something, what we are able to do, sewing, quilts, Quilting. Winkle already planning her next shipment of quilted blocks. File will turn into quilts. This didn't take very much time, mm -hmm. but this one probably took longer. And this one took even longer. With her right hand woman, Diane Larson. Yeah, I like, I, I love the kids and I want to help the kids out. It gives the children peace. It settles them and makes them feel like I've said, like people care, the world cares. Winkle, Larson, and over 400 creatives worldwide, piecing for peace. Reporting in Harker Heights, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. If you'd like to help find the story on our website, Winkle is looking for blue bonnet fabric to send a piece of Texas to Ukraine.